first, let me share about uh, the progress of our IFPs. As reported by the NEDA Board Committee on Infrastructure, or Infracom, during the meeting, there are now 71 ongoing projects worth 4.11 trillion pesos as of July 2023, up from 68 projects reported in the first quarter. The Department of Public Works and Highways are implementing these connectivity and transform transportation infrastructure projects which aim to provide or to improve connectivity across the country. Among the remaining 123 IFPs, 27 have been approved for implementation, 8 are awaiting government approval, 52 are in the project preparation, preparation phase, while 36 are under the pre-project preparation phase as of July 2023. Following the revised guidelines, the NEDA board approved to include three more projects under the list of IFPs. These projects are the Tarlac Pangasinan La Union Expressway or TIPLEX extension project, the Philippine Rural Development Project scale up, and the upgrade expansion, operation, and maintenance of the Lagindingan International Airport Project in Misamis Oriental. By ensuring the efficient implementation of high-impact infrastructure projects, the Marcos administration aims to get the job done, will enhance connecti connectivity, reduce the cost of doing business, promote the creation of high-quality jobs, and ultimately reduce poverty sustainably to improve the lives of every Filipino. Thank you.